and that, yeah. folks, The Walking Dead are here on our show right now. It's Mr. Vincent Ward. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Yes. Sorry, I need to correct you. Yes. Vincent M. M. Ward. Please, please. There it is. What does the M stand for? Maurice. Maurice. Oh, I Maurice. like that name. Yeah, Good stuff. All right, everyone, let's sit down. You know what to do, Vincent, right? Yep. All right, one, two, three. Wow! wow. Oh. All right, Vincent, so you were you you become a real veteran actor when it comes to these horror movies, zombie movies. And what is it? Why why are they casting you in these movies? Why are you perfect to battle zombies? Well, you know, I think it's I think it's my size and my, my voice. Really? Yeah. Really? Like, like, oh, yeah. girl. The, the voice can be intimidating, but to the ladies it can be a little sexy. Oh, Ooh. obviously, obviously. <laughs> so you, kill, you kill the zombies, I'm... then you go and pick up chicks in the bar. I'm so All the days like, I could be like picked up with what look at his hand. I mean, sorry. Oh my but God. Really? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> right there. That is a massive. How tall are you, Vincent? I'm only 6'4. To me, it's just like. <sighs> like, I could be grabbed like this by one hand with this guy. Like, do you like to. Sh do you later like to on, later on. Then. Do you like your dates to be shorter? <laughs> yeah, I usually date short women. I don't, oh. I, don't, I don't like for a woman to be my height, because she okay. put on heels, then she's taller than me. Then yeah. it looks a little weird. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, and you're, you're already tall enough, so. So how'd you uh, get into acting? Tell us a little bit about your background. I always tell people, act and pick me, I didn't pick it. Okay. Um, and what I mean by that, I got fired from General Motors because I got hurt on the job. Mm. Um, started working at a place called Champ Sports, became the number one salesman in the district. There you End go. up, yeah. I was doing. I was my. I was the black Al Bundy. Yeah, I was probably, <laughs> I was probably one of your customers back in the day, man. I used That's to go. I was slanging those shoes, ah. and one day I got fired. I got fired for absolutely no reason, and I went and saw my very first play, and I fell in love with it. Wow. wow. Yeah, I fell in love, wow. and you know, both the jobs tried to give me my my positions back, and I told them no. I found something that I love. So. Wow. But you were working hard for the money because I read that you had two kids. Is that true? Yeah, I had two kids. At this time, I have, I have nine grandkids right oh, now. Oh, I thought you were wow. going to say you have what? nine kids. <laughs> I'm like, you have whoa. nine grandkids I have nine right nine grandbabies. How did that happen? You look so young. You're the yeah, youngest you looking grandpa. Me? It's the, 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 it's the <laughs> my kids. <laughs> it's like, I have nothing to do with it. But you don't, you don't strike me as a grandpa at all. It's uh, like, hi, kids, here's grandpa. And then grandpa comes, hey. grandpa. You know, this big guy, <laughs> tough. <laughs> Call me Graham Pimpin. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Graham Pimpin. <laughs> Just kidding. So you have something that it's this uh, very positive attitude because I was checking out your social media. Um, like you say all the time, the best is yet to come. The best right. is yet to come. And it's always looking forward to the future. Who's your inspiration for all this? My parents. My parents okay. and, the, and the grandkids. I, I want to I put myself in position. My parents have always been here for me. And I want to be there for them. You know, a lot of times, kids that turn their back on their on family and oh. put them in homes and all that. And I'm, I'm not going to do that. And as far as the grandkids, I want to be that grandfather that leaves something for my grandkids. Mm -hmm. You know, so some some for them to be proud about. Right. Now, going back to these horror movies, because I'm a big fan of the zombie movies and love John Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to, I know you got some projects coming up, 86 Zombie, mm -hmm. um, a couple other horror movies that I, need, I see in post-production. Are you a fan of these movies? Or, or, or did they kind of like bring you into that world and then you realize, okay, I think I'm made for these. Um. A little bit of both. I, I, honestly, I didn't even know what The Walking Dead was. I had no clue. No clue. Uh, what happened? I got hired. They was, I was like, well, what is it about? They said it's about zombies. I said, who's watching TV about zombies? <laughs> Come to find out everybody was. Yeah, right. yeah. And as far as like all these other things, it's just I'm, I'm getting hired for them. But my thing is I decided to create my own. Um, we haven't had a black killer since Candyman. Okay. Oh. So I decided to create one. Uh, new show coming out soon. Called Devereaux, okay. so I and I, I play the lead in there. It's like a like this voodoo guy. So uh -oh. yeah, Ooh, does it take place in New Orleans or something? It's gonna take place wherever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> a voodoo guy. Yeah. Meaning like you're gonna do a little brujeria a or something. Like a yeah. like, oh, like, oh, black magic. Well, yeah. Like a spells and cool. stuff. I come from a Cuban family and, and they have santeria, which is very basically similar to voodoo. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of you know sacrificing animals mm. and, oh, and pray, praying to gods that are combinations of African gods and, and Catholic gods. Yeah, and zombies, yeah. you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, but it's like the real life stuff, with yeah, real, real blood stuff. and real stuff. But the thing oh. about it is I'm gonna I've pray heard. every time we go on set, so. Oh, nice. <laughs> Were you religious growing up? Yeah, I'm, I'm religious growing up, religious now. Where'd you oh. grow up? 
Dayton, Ohio. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, good. Born good peeps in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, born and raised that's the salt Ohio. of the earth right there. Yeah, everybody had to get up out of there, so that's why I've been here for 16 <laughs> years. So. Do you still play basketball, though? Because I, I read that you used to do that a lot, yeah, right, I'm when you actually, were younger? I'm actually playing tonight, too. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do you do it professionally? Do you do it as a no. hobby? Do you do it, like, with your grandchildren? Exercise. Exercise. Every, my, as far as the grandkids and my family, everybody's back in Ohio. But for right now, playing basketball, I just do it for exercise. Okay. By the way, thanks for lending us LeBron James. I'm from Miami. Uh, we had four <laughs> great years, and now you can have him back. But we both came out winning. This yeah, we won a championship. And so did we, too. Yeah. Um, so uh, before we go out, I want, you know, Bruno's a, an aspiring actor, uh, okay. and he's probably going to get cast in a zombie film at some point. Can you give him some advice on how to act when he's confronted by the undead? You yeah. know, go ahead. Just act scared. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> Even like like when I first on, on the show when I first saw the zombies, or the walkers, or uh -huh. the walkers. Oh yeah. I had to act scared. I had I didn't have a weapon. Only thing I had was my feet, because they wouldn't give me a weapon because they didn't know if they can trust me. So right. only thing I did was run. So just run. Okay. Real fast without getting a cramp. That's good. I think that's good for a lot of situations. Just run. <laughs> you, you don't feel run. good. Run. Good training for basketball. I love yeah. it. I'm ready. And, yeah. You know it's funny because growing up. Like if say your parents made you mad, I used to always do this look, mm -hmm. and there's you know this thing coming on my forehead. Let me try that. And my mom always be like, get that meat off your head. Oh. oh. So now every time I'm scared or mad in a scene, I put that meat on my head, uh, it's and like it looks that. intimidating. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work with my yoga body over here, but... Maybe you have no meat on your head. Hold on, you can't put the meat on your head and the duck lips. You can't do both. There you go. You can't do the model lips. Dennis will do the duck lips. We got to run, but before we do, what did you bring us here? I brought you something, man. What? Hey, a guest with gifts. That's my kind of guest. This is actually... I'm the face and voice of this company. It's called Harmony's Brew, and it's actually coffee. Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it's That's coffee. Amazing. It's coffee. Is it coffee? Is it, is, it, yes. is, it, is, it, is it cold coffee? It's cold coffee. What? <laughs> I think you guys' feet, yeah. feet are too I'll big for these. I'll share with you, Thank you, darling. I brought you some Oscar socks. Nice! Oh, my oh, God! So fun! I don't go all the way to her, uh, her thigh yeah. heights. That's awesome. And then... And this. this? Uh, it's a oh sign. Oh, my God. You know what? Oh, my gosh. gosh. We're going to put this up on our wall, man. Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. And you can actually catch me on you know, the voice and face for Brevecto, Fleas and Ticks, as awesome. well. Guess what? what? This is going right up on our, on our, on our thing. What about social media, Vince? Vincent M. Ward, everything. Awesome. Got to put the M in. Got to put the M in. Got to put the M. Let's start.